This time on the driver's corner, we're changing out my factory taillights with the new modified Halo LED taillights and third brake light. Stay tuned. So somebody has changed out my tail lights at one point with um, the, the screws with uh, apparently sheet metal Phillips head. So this is kind of easy to get off versus having to use the Torx. And then I'll show you why I'm replacing these. Not just because those are gonna look awesome, but um, the previous owner had put blackouts on the tail lights. And when they did that, uh, I didn't like it. So when I bought the car, I pulled them off and I spider cracked every single one of these lenses. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera or not, but there are spider cracks um, on every single one of my taillight lenses. So that's why I started thinking about doing this. And then when I saw the halo swap, I couldn't not do it. So I'm gonna get back to it. Yeah, look at these. All right, so I'm gonna wipe out all this stuff right here, get all the junk out of there, and then I'm gonna um, go read the instructions because I didn't do that on how to install these yet. Now a lot of you guys are gonna ask why I'm not doing the flush mount kit and the answer is because I don't like the way that looks. I'm also not gonna do the seals. I see a lot of guys put the seals uh, around the tail lights and uh, I saw one at a car show the other day and he still had the water running down the back so I don't really see the point in that either. It doesn't stop the water from collecting and running so I'm not gonna waste my money on that, so. All right, so in order to install this new uh, third brake light, that's gonna match uh, the new LED ones. Now obviously the factory ones are LED, but this one was also damaged by the blackout uh, stuff put on there. So you have to reach in behind through one of the tail light holes, or actually probably both. And my understanding is it's a seven millimeter um, socket. So I'm gonna get that, and then we'll get to installing this first before I plug the other ones in. Okay, so they're all in and on. I'm gonna hit the brake so you can see what everybody looks like when they're lit up. And then I'll do some glamour shots in a little bit uh, once my battery charges up. I totally forgot. Um, the flasher harness in there. I'm going to show you what it looks like if you don't buy that harness. Yeah, not good.
I like the look. Um, I, I gotta see them in the daylight though. They look pretty red as far as the, um, the lens themselves, almost an orangey red, so I really hope they don't look cheesy in the day. But at night, they look awesome. All right, so here we are, it's the next day. Uh, and this is what they look like kind of in the daylight. I've got my garage door open with the lights on. I will say the install was incredibly easy. I, uh, it's the easiest thing I've done to the car so far, except for the third brake light. This was a little bit difficult getting the, uh, uh, the bolts started. It's almost like the, uh, you're making your own threads in this aftermarket light. So that was a little bit of a pain. Uh, but these ones right here went in really, really easy, as well as the hyper flash harness. I know I didn't show that so much in the video. I, I showed you kind of where it plugs in because the instructions aren't super clear. But the bottom line is, is I think um, for the money, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I know you can buy these separately and then do the modification yourself. I went ahead and bought the ones that were already uh, modified, which I think really helped um, just with the ease of installation. I, I didn't have to take them all apart and worry about breaking them, and that's kind of where I wanted to be. I didn't, I didn't want to have to worry. So overall, I couldn't be happier. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you what the brake lights look like during the day, and then I'll turn them off so you can see what that looks like as well. So here they are without the lights on at all. I was kind of torn and I'm still a little bit torn. They look a little red, almost orange, and I don't know if that's because my paint's red. So that's something that I've, I've got to kind of decide if I need to put a little bit of extra red vinyl around these or if I'm gonna just live with them and be okay with it. Uh, overall, I mean, it really kind of modernizes the back of the car. So it's something that maybe most people wouldn't notice, but I think Corvette guys will and, and gals will notice this. and. Uh, I mean, for $369 shipped, my old taillights were so cracked. I think I'm going to try to show you guys those again uh, as to why I did this versus some people have asked me why I was doing this instead of doing the uh, uh, LED bulbs inside the factory lenses or other stuff like that. But I'm going to show you the, the cracks on these factory ones. Let me find the worst one. Okay. So the previous owner had put uh, he had put blackouts on, and they were stuck on the tape. And when I went to pull that off, you can see that crack. But these were non-repairable. So this was something that honestly I couldn't leave them on the car. They were starting to take on water, and now I've got this little bit of extra. Um, the other thing I'm going to kind of show you is what we're going to be working on on the next video. I'm waiting for the weather to clear. I don't know if you can see my breath, but it's pretty cold out. And I've got some fun stuff for the car, uh, such as this Spoiler King uh, duckbill that I'm going to put on there. But i got to wait till it's warmer because even heating my garage, I can't get this pliable enough to make the curvature of the back of the car. So. Hopefully this is my next video if I figure out how to get this thing warmed up and installed as well as the front lip and I got those side skirts that I'm working on too, so for the side splitters. So uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Smash like or thumbs down and leave me a comment if you want. Thanks so much for tuning in.